Authorities in Collin County are still trying to track down about 20 registered sex offenders during pre Halloween spot checks, and they started this last night. CBS 11's JD Miles live for us from Plano with more on a law enforcement effort to keep our mm -hmm. trick or treaters safe tonight. JD? Mm -hmm. Doug, using the DPS app, which has a map of all registered sex offenders, we found 10 within a mile of this West Plano neighborhood. Now, they are not allowed by law to pass out candy, but authorities are taking no chances. You shouldn't see a front porch light on at these two homes in Plano or trick or treaters at the front door. They are homes of a man convicted of possessing child pornography and another convicted of indecent exposure involving a child. The homeowners are registered sex offenders subjected to spot checks last night and today by the Collin County Sheriff's Office. Halloween is always a is always a, a prime target for for pedophiles and predators. Um, so it's always good to be able to do this type of project right before Halloween. A no notice inspection conducted by the Sheriff's Office and DPS verified the whereabouts of 60 out of 80 convicted sex offenders in the county. The sheriff's office hopes to locate the other 20 by the time trick or treaters are hitting the streets. It's always a good idea to know where uh, some of these people are at, um, and that's what's part of this process to verify that they are where they say they're supposed to be. Plano police say offenders in its city are required to report to them on a weekly basis, but they say most know and follow the rules. Well, they cannot be handing out candy. They can't have their porch lights on to indicate that they will be handing out candy. And uh, in, in past history, we've not had any issues with that. And some cities actually require sex offenders to post signs in their yard. Texas is one of only five states with no candy laws aimed at preventing interaction between kids and sex offenders on Halloween. Live in Plano, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. J.D., thank you.